morning once again. Welcome to another lesson. Today we'll be looking at translation. What is the easiest among the three transformations? That is reflection, translation, and rotation. So we are looking at translation. We are looking at translation. I always tell my students that when I tell you, hey, translate the word go, the next question you ask me is, translate it to what language? Good. So which means translation has got something. If you are telling me translate this coordinate, to what? Okay, good. To what? What we call it is vector. So you hear, translate this coordinate by the vector that. That is the what I'm talking about. Translate this coordinate by the vector that. In translation, when you are given coordinate C to be 3 on 5, and they ask you to translate it by the vector 3, negative 5. 3, negative 5. Don't let this confuse you. 3 on 5. There is no over over the no. In vectors, you don't write over. It is 3 on 5. That is how we pronounce it. It is the same as what you see over here. 3, 5. These 3, 5 you see could be written in this form. So, when they ask you to translate it by the vector this, which means this is the vector you are going to use. How do you do it? It is so easy. All you have to do is add the vector to it. Very simple. So, vector C. That is 3, 5. You see, I have changed it. Good. By translating it becomes the 3, 5 plus what they've given you. You add it to it. 3, negative 5. So simple. You would have to be very careful of your negative sign. So what do we get? 3 plus 3. 6. 5 plus negative 5, which is actually 5 minus 5. You get what? 0. So the new vector is what? 6 on 0. So therefore, C, that is vector uh, coordinate 3, 5, has now become 3, 5, 6, 0. So simple. All you need to do is add it to it. So, I'm going to take about three examples, then you get it. As we keep solving, you get it. Translation is so easy. Okay. So, translate following by the vector translate the following by the vector 3 2 3 2 so you have number 1 vector a 5 1 this is simple number 2 Vector B, 7, negative 1. And last but not least, vector C, 8, 0. Good. In order to translate this, what does it become? It becomes 5 on 1. You change it to a vector. Still x on top y down. So 5 on 1 plus 3, 2. What they gave you? So what do you get? You end up getting 5 plus 3, 8. 1 plus 2, 3. So the answer is what? 8, 3. 
coordinate 8, 3. So when 5 from 1 was translated by the vector 3, 2, we ended up getting 8, 3. 8, 3. Good. Number 2. We have to change this to a vector form. So it becomes 7, negative 1. Plus the vector they gave us, 3, 2. So what do we get? 7 plus 3, 10. Negative 1 plus 2, 1. So our answer is what? 10, 1. That is our new vector. I hope you get it. Translation is the easiest. The last one. Let me give you some few seconds for you to try. You've been given the coordinate 8, 0. And you've been asked to translate it by the vector 2 on 3. Should I sing? No. If I sing, maybe you not pay attention. Keep trying. Okay. Let's see if what you had is correct. We have to first of all change it to what? Vector. So we get 8 on 0. The change in watch. That is all. The first one goes up. The last one comes down. So 8 on 0. Plus what they give us? 3, 2. 8 plus 3, 11. 0 plus 2. So our vector is what? We change it back. 11, 2. As simple as that. Good. Welcome to the end of another lesson. I hope it was fruitful. I had to do this because I realized most of the YouTube videos I was giving you wasn't being helpful. I hope this is helpful. Go to the assignment section and practice more. Very soon, I'll be introducing a Zoom meeting for June year 6, where we'll meet and discuss anything we don't get. But then, keep in touch via my WhatsApp line. I'm always available. You can talk to me. It will surprise you. Some students call me to tell me, so I don't get what you do. I take a quick video of explanation and I send it to them through the WhatsApp. So, catch you there. My WhatsApp line is 57 Six one one six two zero four zero five seven six one one six two zero four. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.